Hey everybody, good morning. This is Matt. Today is 6.31 in the morning and I'm driving to the gym as every single Friday. I have my conditioning class at 7. I just had my shake. The same shake I've done on Monday. So in the episode 1 you can see the shake. Check the episode 1. Try the shake because it's, it's pretty good. After my class uh, we run uh, a short session again. Uh, leg workout i've done legs a couple of days ago i didn't record the workout on wednesday afternoon and uh, i did a back squat routine with some leg press and leg extension calves work so today i feel pretty sore and basically my leg work this morning will be squat with dumbbells and uh, some stiff leg deadlift and a little bit of calves again today is a pretty busy day so after my workout uh, i don't have so much time this morning to come back home and get back to the gym because at 10 i have a lesson a couple of hours of a one-to-one -one lesson so i have uh, just the time to go to the grocery store and get something to eat so let's start the day il bilanciamento sulla gamba sotto guarda un po' le mani Mari avanti sento quasi che cadi in avanti stacchi i piedi e vado avanti e cerco di far girare leggermente la mano I'm ready to start my leg short workout or superset squats with dumbbell with stiff leg deadlift eating from six to eight reps and i go down to five reps for each exercise i take 90 seconds of rest and i do five working sets again on the stiff leg deadlift i try to go pretty slow with control and uh, basically I try to feel the posterior chain work and I try to engage as much as I can the glutes it's very important to feel the engagement of the posterior chain instead of uh, going up and down using the momentum so go up pretty explosive in the movement uh, keeping the spine pretty straight and the neck in line and then go down with uh, with control and the same uh, for the squat so I go all the way down I keep my my leg and my glute engaged I stop down for one second inhale keep the breath and press all the way up and exhale so I can really feel the the activation of my posterior chain, my glutes and uh, I like to concentrate much more my attention on uh, the activation of the muscles instead of going up with weight so that's it basically this is the, the work I do this morning and then I do just calf raises on the meat and that's it, now we go, we go to the breakfast Okay, let's fly to the grocery store to get uh, some food to have breakfast. Uh, that basically is my post-workout meal. So we go and we fly back again to the gym to run uh, a one-to-one -one session. I have Greek yogurt with a box of uh, blueberries, one banana and one espresso. finished my lesson and I'm driving back home to have lunch I want to talk about very quickly about my macros as I said in the, the past video I've done a couple of weeks real pretty relaxed about food and diet so and I was very close to 77 kilograms full of water and uh, I'm sure that in a couple of weeks I can get back on my regular weight just paying attention of the quantity of carbohydrates uh, in relation to my workout so basically this week I have three different uh, days uh, a low intensity day where I do just flexibility or mobility work or uh, I don't train at all and I eat uh, just 
75 grams of carbohydrates. A meat intensity day is where I eat 125 grams of carbohydrates and uh, I go for skills work or uh, just one session of training in the day. And uh, the third type of day is where I do a split routine, morning and afternoon. I go for 175 grams of carbohydrates, so pretty, uh, a little bit higher. But I know that the quantity of carbohydrates uh, that I'm talking about are not so much, are not so much. And consider that I was eating about from 300 to 350 grams before summer, so I want to go back on this kind of uh, quantity as soon as I can. I stay with those macros this week and then uh, on, from the next Monday I increase uh, 25 grams of carbohydrates for every single day. So I go from uh, 75 to 100 in my low intensity day. I go from 125 to 150 on my mid intensity day and uh, from 175 to 200 grams on my high intensity day. I forgot to say that I try to keep my proteins uh, around 180 to 200 grams and my fats around 50 grams, so every single day. And in a couple of weeks uh, I go back on my regular diet that's good to eat and this is what I had for lunch. 200 grams of chicken, mixed salad, cucumber and I use 5 grams of extra virgin olive oil, mustard, some uh, ginger powder, some dry onions and lime juice. That's it, this is my lunch, no carbs because uh, I had some carbs after my first workout this morning and I get some more carbs after my second workout and then also for dinner. So see you later for the workout. Welcome back guys to the gym. I've already finished my one-to-one -one, uh, session with a client and we've done a lot of uh, handstand work so I had the possibility to warm up the body with him. So I'm almost ready to start my uh, one-arm session. Today I start with the helicopters. I've done this exercise with Steve Atlas in Spokane and this is the, the second time I try it by my home. So I start with a little weight. I try to go for three or four sets. I wanna focus much more on the technique than the weight today. And uh, let's see how it goes. I'm just working with uh, 25 kilograms now and it seems like to have uh, over at something like 100 fucking kilos so the tension created by these exercises around the shoulder girdle and inside the shoulder is amazing it's fucking amazing then I go for some handstand uh, one arm handstand work then I want to uh, to overload uh, the shoulder uh, at the smith and then I go back on one arm and stand. Guys, on this last one, I let my body fall a little bit down, stretching a little bit the shoulders. You can feel the opening of the shoulders, the stretch on the shoulders. After all the work done on shoulders today, it's uh, so important to release the tension there. I've done the same variation with Steve in Spokane, but using the straps, so it's a little bit different. Here, I don't have the opportunity to have the straps, so I try to use uh, directly the, the style bar. And uh, that's it, workout is done. Post-workout time. So dry dates, I'm fucking hungry. Tonight, I will load some carbs. Today was uh, pretty intense. I've done a lot of lessons, a lot of reps, a lot of shoulder work. I'm pretty sore, so I need to eat and to recover. And now, isolate whey protein, 25 grams. See you for dinner, guys, after my club class. Okay, my friends, back again in the kitchen. I am uh, cooking some stuff. My salad is ready. 
so a mix of lettuce, cucumber and as always mustard, some dried onion, then I have here some cod, again 300 grams of cod uh, and last sweet potato, I smash the potato like that, smash everything with a knife, great, then we take the, the lime juice, a lot of lime on top of the sweet potato, like that, and then this one is about 400 grams of sweet potato because today I want to load some carbs, so it's about 85 from 85 90 grams of carbohydrates from uh, this uh, sweet potato or yam. So after this, hmm, good, we take the cinnamon on top of the sweet potato like that and then again we smash everything and as always this one doesn't look good but is fucking great try that mm. it's simple that's the secret that's it get back to you later okay guys here we are it's about 11 p.m. and uh, I have my final snack of the day I have some egg whites here and I, this syrup is a maple flavor my protein you see that I received this one today so I want to try that let's try I tell you mm pretty good so three egg whites and then with the uh, my protein maple syrup sugar free syrup sugar free syrup so zero calorie watch the you want to see the macros it's here so you see pretty macro friendly everything is a zero 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 so and I also have this one so the taste is passion for it I tried all this one uh, just uh, with my fingers inside like that and it's, uh, it's pretty it's pretty good I think that with the Greek yogurt is, is great so now I have my unsweetened almond milk with some cinnamon inside and that's it so I put some uh, cocoa powder on top of my eggs just a bit like that okay it's pretty nothing like that and uh, that's it so and then I get back to you on the next week with some more training I update you about my body weight and don't forget to like my shit comment subscribe and fucking share see you soon